Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you uh, how to use select query in uh, GDB using JDBC. So basically in select query, I will be just showing how to retrieve data from the database and display it on the screen. Okay, that is what select query is all about. And uh, then again, uh, I've already created a table. I've already inserted the data. So I'll just show the table and the data which I've got. So this is my table and the data. So I want to display this data on the screen. All right, at runtime. So for that, we have to use the select query that is select star from the table name, right? So we'll get started for that. Okay. Um, so first thing that I'm doing here is the same procedure that is to create uh, connect the class with the database. I mean, connect this file with, to the uh, MySQL database, right? So for that, we use this class dot for name and uh, all those thing, uh, statements that we have to use in connection. I've already created this video uh, of how to connect the database, how to use that database and how to create tables and such values. If you want, you can just refer to my previous videos. So till then, I'll just uh, write this basic statements which are re required. I'm creating an object of connection with the uh, driver manager. Sorry. Yeah. Connection con driver manager dot get connection. Dot get connection. And then I will be passing the link that is gdbc colon mysql slash I mean colon forward slash localhost colon 3307 is my port number and jdbc one is my um database name then the username and password of mysql that's it. Um, next is I'll just simply write a statement that is simple uh, system dot out dot println to print a statement that we have connected to the database or connecting to the database. All right. Um, the next is I will be creating is prepared statement. Prepare state. Sorry. So I've, I've written this uh, line that is I've created an object of prepared statement statement and then using this con object connection object I'm calling this prepared statement all right and there I'm passing this query that is register select star from table name my table name here is uh, register you can see this is a register table so I've written register and then another uh, important um, you can say method which is there for uh, accessing the data from the database is the result set. So result set uh, has the object which holds the data retrieved from the database after you execute an SQL query using the uh, statement objects. So it acts as an iterator to allow you to move through this data. All right, it is going to act as iterator. So it is going to act as loop. So until the data is they present in the database, it is going to iterate and display the contents. All right, I've created, I've used prepared statement because when we use, you can plan to use these SQL statements many times. All right, uh, and, you know, and prepared statements also accepts the parameter at runtime. Whereas if you are using statements, it is used only for general purpose access to your database. The statement interface, it cannot accept the parameters at the runtime. So we are using this prepared statement. This is the difference between prepared statement and uh, statement. Now, after creating this, I have to create as while, then I have to use this result object, which is having next. While the result is uh, all the database is consisting values, we have to use this loop. Now we have to print the uh, contents on the screen. Hence, I'm using this uh, println statement. And there, in that we have to use, is first thing is result 
it shouldn't be in double quotes as such. Sorry. First thing you'll write is result dot get string. Now, uh, when I'm writing is get string and an integer value, which is one, which means that the first column of the table will be printed. Okay. After that, plus double quote. Then again, plus. Uh, result dot uh get sorry result dot get string now i'll write this value two now what will do it will take the second column okay it will take the second column hence value two now we have four columns in our table so i will be writing this four times okay four columns so i'll just write it four times yeah Result dot get string three. Okay, I just can copy this part again. So you can see I have uh, written this result dot get string the fourth parameter. There are errors which are shown. So if we just write here after the arguments in the public state public static void main statement throws exception because it is very important when we are using is uh, this JDBC there has to be a dry catch block but instead of writing dry catch I use this throws exception. It's quite efficient. Right now, so this is the only thing which I have to do. Okay, now I'll just run this program and see how is it working. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's showing an error here for what? Let's see. Okay, there's an... Uh, you're sorry i'm very sorry you have to write is jdbc driver that's it yeah so you can see now this data has been fetched from the database that is one two three four five term harry bonnie jakes blake is one two three four five term harry bonnie jakes and blake but this is not a little bit an organized way so we can also write here in the sprint out statement we can write here as i will write here as id colon then this value will come here okay uh, after that i'll write here as I'll put a plus sign first i'll write here as first name colon then here also i'll put his uh, last name colon and uh, at the last here before the age i'll uh, write here as age okay h that's it colon and i'll save it so this will be just giving a little bit more proper look what is happening why did it just turn off Oops, sorry so this is giving you a more proper look and if I just play it, yeah, you can see it. Here you have is for ID, then first name. If you want, you can just increase the space to differentiate it more properly. Okay. It's just the viewing part, all right? There's nothing coding part in this. Organized way to view the data. Yeah, there's some of the spaces has become less and more, hence it is the same. All right, so uh, this is it. This was the SQL query for select or viewing the uh, database contents. So that's it in this video. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. Um, and if you want, have any doubts regarding how to create tables or connecting the database, you can watch my previous videos. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you.